Within the next decade, climate change will increasingly disrupt our lives. Climate hazards such as droughts, flooding and wildfires will strike us harder and more often. The impacts these hazards have and our ability to deal with those impacts will depend on the resilience or vulnerability of our societies. Let's compare how climate risks may affect the most resilient and most vulnerable countries. In wealthy countries, including European nations, a drought may be easily managed, avoiding lasting impacts on local agriculture and food supplies. Highly developed water supply infrastructure and irrigation systems make it easy to compensate for low rainfall. When drought strikes, any impacts richer countries do suffer are likely to be contained within the region. By contrast, many less developed countries, particularly those in East Africa and the Sahel, are more vulnerable to drought. Most people rely on agriculture for their food and livelihood. Yet only around 5% of cropland across Africa is irrigated, far below the global average of 21%. When drought strikes vulnerable regions, crops fail, food supplies suffer, and poverty increases. More and more people are unable to cope, putting further strain on resources, so less support can be given to help people adapt. Vulnerable communities become more vulnerable, creating a vicious cycle. These devastating impacts don't only affect the vulnerable countries first hit. Climate impacts can cascade across nations and borders, creating conditions for conflict, disrupting international trade and financial markets and forcing people from their homes. A country or region badly affected by drought cannot export food as usual. Less food is available to trading partners, prices spiral, and hunger and social unrest increase. Protests and riots over food prices can quickly escalate into political instability, destabilizing governments and potentially fueling regional conflict. Now the impacts are compounding and cascading. Regional instability and food insecurity grow with reliance on imported food from global markets. People in vulnerable countries are compelled to leave their homes, migrating within and across borders, and sometimes crossing continents. The countries to which vulnerable people travel, in turn, face simultaneous impacts from the effects of climate change on countries beyond their borders. The duty to ensure the welfare of climate migrants and higher demand for resources and food price inflation, which affect both citizens and new arrivals. The cascading impacts of climate change are difficult to predict, but the vulnerabilities that can start such as chains of effects are already a daily reality for many people. To limit the damage of accelerating climate change, we must start by strengthening the resilience of the most vulnerable. Three actions are key. 1. Prioritize global adaptation and increase climate finance to strengthen the most vulnerable regions. This is in the interest of richer nations, not just to avert regional climate disasters, but to prevent cascading global impacts of food insecurity, migration, and conflict. Two, produce a comprehensive and up-to-date climate risk register. By better monitoring risk and vulnerabilities, governments, civil society, and the private sector can work together to target and improve resilience and adaptation and lessen climate impacts. 3. Pledge more ambitious, nationally determined contribution, NDCs, and sector initiatives to reduce emissions in the very near term. Without ambitious action to halt climate change, the impacts will soon go beyond what any nation can withstand or adapt to. These actions can help ensure societies around the world are better prepared to cope with accelerating climate risks as we approach 2030.